Hello there, World of Tankers. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully, all of you are doing well out there. I'm, of course, your host, Drudels Blitz, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Batchat 25 ton. Now, this, of course, is the tier 10 auto loading light tank, and I really wasn't going to make a video on today's tank. However, I managed to pull out a pretty dang spectacular game, and I figured, you know what? It's one of those moments where you just pull out a game that you kind of have to show how to play the tank, and as well, why it still is such an influential tank on the battlefield. I get a lot of people that say the bat chat really just doesn't fit in with the current meta of blitz and the great thing about it is first of all it's getting a buff in 7.5 now it's not the biggest buff it's only going from two what it is currently at a three second intra clip to a 2.8 but that's still about half a second you're saving off both shells which to be honest is better than no buff at all is what i'm saying however in this video here we're going to take a look at the peak perfection of the bat chat in the correct type of scenario now notice i didn't penetrate all my shells this game i didn't play every Everything to a perfect T, but I managed to win the game because of the clip. Having a clip late game, which you're going to see, is something that is so influential into the battle because, of course, you've got 900 damage riding on your tank in a matter of six seconds, which is more than any other vehicle apart from other clippers in the game. So, what makes you so strong is the ability to outspot your opponent, to use your clip effectively, and run the tank like no other vehicle. So, in this map, of course, I am one of a few light tanks on my and the enemy team. I have a Sheridan, and of course the enemy team has two Sheridans. So the main thing you want to do immediately in a bat chat, well of course is spot, because you want to know where the enemy team is going. That Sheridan made actually I thought was a risky move at the beginning, pushing so far aggressive, but it turns out that really the enemy team didn't do much right off of the beginning. They were, uh, they went to the heavy side, which usually isn't the best in my opinion. If you go to the heavy side, you have a greater chance of losing just because of this position you can see me sitting in right here. It gives me very easy spots, as you can see I spotted the Sheridan. I can pretty much sit here and spot anybody on the map crossing and just not shoot and not get detected myself. So that's exactly what I'm going to do for the first couple of seconds. When you're running a bat chat, you don't always have to shoot. You can see I just waited for that IS-7 to get to 249 meters until I shot because I'm pretty sure the minimum spotting range for any vehicle is 250 meters apart from the 183 because the camera rating is so bad on that tank, I actually think I have been spotted after 250 meters. But pretty much at the beginning of this game, you can see I'm just kind of waiting here just kind of chilling only done about 600 damage but there we go finally a juicy target out in the open and this of course is where you can get out those big nasty clips that's already 600 off that e75 and of course because he pulled back out in the open that is a 900 damage clip so we went from 600 damage to 1500 very very nice there got to love what you can get out those deadly clips and this is where i make my first big move in the bat chat the main thing you need to do in a light tank is take out your competition heavy tanks yeah they can be deadly an e100 can hit you for a thousand hit points a 57 heavy like the one on the enemy team can hit me for 1200 hit points and if it's shooting he 1600 however there's one thing the t57 heavy cannot do and that is chase me down and the sheridan is one of the few tanks that can not only chase me down but slap me for a big shell and then back up because of that so if i'm able to clear one of the two sheridans on the enemy team and as you'll notice the other sheridan's already dead that goes all of my biggest competition so now i'm faster than the t5041 the 70 57 heavy is 7 and of course the 4005 so i'm gonna outspot every tank on the enemy team and now of course i have a major advantage over them so this is where i can really start playing technical i'm just thinking about 3000 damage and as you can see it's already looking not in our favor it is a five to three and my team has not necessarily done the best of jobs so far we've got the is7 spotted again just spotting for the team right now not really shooting yet there you go now i'm using the bush mechanics i've noticed that okay this t 541s behind the bush, which means that if I can't see through the bush, of course, I won't get detected, which is always nice. And I'm going to try and snap this IS-7 just before I go away, just because, of course, the IS-7 is one of the biggest threats. Alpha is the second biggest threat I'm up against, and Clippers. So if I have shots on the 4005, of course, I'm going to want to take him out. The 57 Heavy, of course, because those are very, very deadly targets. I would say the easier target, actually, the only non-deadly target right now is the IS-7. And of course, that's one I'm going to clip out because of I want to easily clear him so there goes the enemy is7 and we're also going to get a nice snap right into the t54 e1 however my sheridan made a really weird move there drove out in the open and well now the sheridan's dead so in the moment that i've gotten 4,000 damage out i've cleared one tank shot a shell into the t54 e1 just made him a little bit above my clip so i would have to get a couple max rolls there to take out that t54 e1 which of course is not necessarily what i want you're seeing one of the many flaws with the bat chat that would be the gun capabilities on the angling you can 
can see here, it's not the best. And the C5041, well, sadly, I uh, I did not get the ability to shoot him again. Although, he did pull out right out in the open. And you'll see here that Bat Chat, oh boy, did it let me down on that shot. I'm not really sure where it went. I think it went on the upper part of the engine deck of Ricochet off the upper part. But now it is, if you'll take a look, a 1 versus 4. And this is where playing the bat chat not only becomes your skill but also knowledge because i see that that guy's 200 meters away and because he is a t54 he won a tier 9 medium i pretty much figured that yeah i'm not going to be detected he's in a tier 9 tank i'm in a tier 10 light tank i should easily be able to shoot him and not get detected myself so i shot him didn't have to worry about that so i've already clipped out one of the four opponents and that was of course the healthiest one of all well now we got the 57 heavy who's got 500 health sadly i just couldn't get a shell in his you can see there a little bit of poor marksmanship for me but we also got like the 57 heavy who i got one nice shell into and now hopefully just hopefully no or gaming why you not liking me there so sadly the 75 got a very nice ricochet there on the uh, side and one of the biggest issues i started to notice is one versus three and there's a minute and 40 seconds left and of course Time is something that sucks, and the 57 Heavy just got in the base capture in case that, you know, he had to worry about it. I think he would just have enough time to win the base capture, but of course, I'm not worried about that right now. Base capture is something that I feel, if you're capping the base and another tank isn't stopping the base capture, I feel like, oh, and by the way, this shot here was really, really lucky I managed to pull out. I did not think that this one was going to hit, but it went right into the side plate of that E75 and managed to finish him off. The bat shot is not renowned for hitting shots like that, so I was so happy when those shot did hit so as i was saying i feel like personally for me that if a person is capping the base and you manage to stop it in a sheridan if that base capture is more than one and it's going to be a draw i feel like that it should go to the victor of the base capture now you notice here i made a very risky move i wanted to take out this 57 heavy and oh boy did i manage to take him out and i also made a bit of a mistake here i shot the 4005 of course but i wasn't paying attention too much went into the wall he did miss a shot on me but to be fair i wasn't super worried as it was because it's going to take me two shells to finish him off and and I pretty much believed in my skills at this moment to take him out. So, yeah, we had a pretty good game. We were able to use the mobility to take out that 57 Heavy. Now, I could have really been caught out in the open there, but I figured you wouldn't expect the Bat Jet just to full-out rush you. So, I took him out there. We got the first shell on the 4005, so not even worrying about him shooting me again, and there you go. That was a fantastic battle pulled out by the Bat Chat 25T. As you can see, pulled out a Mastery. Not only a Mastery, but got ourselves a Colobanos. Pulled out a Pools Medal for six kills. Sadly, we did not get the seventh kill on our team. Imagine if we had. That would have been even so much more cool. But 41,000 credits, surprising that we did fire actually we didn't really fire that much premium but seven thousand damage and this is just the capabilities of the bat chat you couldn't have done this in a sheridan yeah you could have ran away but there is no way you would have had enough time to finish all the tanks off you just don't have the dpm one thing a lot of people don't know about the bat chat is that it actually has decent dpm it's sitting at around 2800 it's also got really good dispersion at 100 meters at 0.293 with a good aiming time at 2.8 seconds it's really not a terrible tank on the gun the biggest issue i find is the magazine with the intra clip at three seconds it's struggles because the pen isn't the best neither is the premium so it definitely has a lot of issues and the other two games i played in the bat chat today weren't necessarily the best but this game definitely pulled ahead and it made me realize that yeah the bat rat it's still got its spunk and every now and then you still manage to pull out a fantastic game if you use your knowledge of bushes if you know where to push and of course who to shoot at so hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video i thought that this was just a nice little difference to my normal videos if you want to see more videos like this maybe in the future some other games where i talk about other tanks where i got really high damage games out occasionally let me know in the comments down below but other than that hopefully all of you did enjoy today's video if you want to see more please consider smashing that subscribe button down below as it helps set the channel a crazy crazy amount but as always hopefully all of you are doing well out there stay happy stay healthy and we'll be seeing you in the next one